this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Uh, on my previous uh, video, I did say that I do have a tutorial on how to knit the collar uh, for the big, uh, the big uh, Lebrowski dude cardigan. But uh, I went back and I posted that way back in 2014. So it's like six, almost seven years now. So I just wanted to show you freshly uh, how to pick up stitches and go on from there. What I did is I just sewed the shoulders, the two shoulders, and this is done in pieces, just to point that out. Oh, this is pretty heavy, so let me put this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up stitches and I grab my circular needles that I have here. This is, uh, it's not a big long, uh, doesn't, the wire isn't that long enough. So I believe this is a 4.5. I did knit the ribs with this. So I'm going to do the same. And uh, I'm just going to grab my, grab my yarn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up stitches. Just just going to grab a crochet hook. This is pretty small, but um This part is pretty thick. And then I'm going to make it long so I can weave it later. Okay. I don't know if you can hear these uh, screaming. My neighbors, I think they're having a party. Uh, I don't know why. I guess they must be brave. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just close the window because uh, I can hear them pretty well from here. And I don't want you guys to get... Uh, yeah, I just don't want you to get bothered because the background noise just annoys when you're trying to watch a tutorial. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke. Then you can grab a crochet hook again just to help you out. This is like a 4.5 crochet hook. It helps to pick up stitches. And you just grab stitches, give enough space, just like this. I think I'm okay, because this part is a little, a little bit tough because I bind off pretty tightly. I watched that tutorial that I posted in 2014 and I thought, oh my goodness, that's too old. And I said to myself, let me make a new tutorial. Okay, let me move this. Okay, so I'm just picking up stitches just like this. Just like this all the way. So uh, I will pick up the stitches and I will come back. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I picked up stitches. And this is how it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start knitting. On this one, I'm going to knit one purl, one um, knit, rib stitch. I usually do two knit, two purl on the Labrusky dude sweater, but cardigan. But on this one, I want to do... Uh, I always do something different on every time I knit some uh, knit. <laughs> so 
So on this one, I will do the collar different and I'm going to uh, knit uh, short rows. Okay, so I'm uh, just going to just regular one knit, one purl, just like this. And uh, it's heavy, it keeps, it's pulling down, I'm sorry. Okay, um, so I will knit couple of rows and I will come back and I will show you I'm planning to do three three a short row instead of uh, I remember I think I did five on my previous so this one I will do three three the short rows and then give that uh, look on the collar Okay, I'll be back. I will knit one knit, one purl, and I will come back. Uh, I remember when I posted in 2014, uh, I, uh, I believe I I was doing my first... Well, I, be, I did knit a couple of times uh, sweaters uh, with shawl collar, and um, no one taught me how to do the collar, and I still look. No one's doing a tutorial on how to knit a collar, unfortunately. So, um, and patterns, uh, it's really hard to understand written patterns. So that's the reason I'm sharing my knowledge with you guys. So you can get an idea on how to knit. You can always put your own uh, taste on your knitting. Okay, so I will knit a couple of rows and I will come back to show you how to do a short row yeah it's pretty heavy even I sew I only sewed the sole uh, the, uh, the uh, shoulders I haven't sewed the sleeves so it, yeah and I'm thinking of making a I thought about making a top down but for plus sizes with this wool and as you can see I'm doing two ply I'm knitting with two ply I'm using two strands of yarn to give that nice uh, uh, or, original look okay I will be back Okay, so I have knit a couple of rows, one, two, three, and I'm almost at the end, but I'm not going to knit these three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a different way to do a short row. I'm not going to slip or slide. What I do is I turn my work and I continue knitting. That's all I do. I'm not going to knit this first one. So I'm going to knit just like this. And when I come back, I will pick up these uh, the stitches and I will show you. So you don't have to do a... There's a, a different ways to knit short rows. So I'm just going to give you an idea how to uh, knit this way. And it's easier. Okay. Um, otherwise, you need to do the techniques with knit and purl. So I will continue knitting this and uh, when I come back to this edge I am going to not knit the three stitches and I will do the same thing what I just did on this but I will show you when I come back. Okay so this time I put markers it's way easier to follow <laughs> and then I'm just knitting all the way Till I come to the three stitches and I just turn my work and I continue knitting just like this so I'm going to knit a couple of rows well not a couple of rows oops so what I did is I wanted to show you so uh, I turn my work and I just slip this stitch and then I just knit continue knitting so I am going to knit a couple of rows and I put a marker already here so when I come to the third I'm going to turn my work and continue knitting and then when I come back from here I will continue knitting uh, I will turn my work every three 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 until I have 
the length that I want and I will come back to show you and I will be right back. Okay, so I've been knitting, knitting, knitting and I am here. So what I did is I am going to knit and I'm going to leave this three, put my marker and I have finished. I did not give a, what I did is I just knit all the way until I had, and then randomly I had three. So I guess multiple of three I have uh, picked up stitches, but I did not plan that too. So uh, let's say if you have five, you can just, you know, knit, leave, leave the three and then knit the five and then continue uh, finishing it off. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up these three, three, threes that we have knit. I have knit and this is how it looks like. So now this is going to be the half knit of the collar. So I'm going to pick up these stitches and then I'm going to knit. Uh, I haven't measured this. So, um, so when you fold the collar, this is how, it, how it will look like. So this would be like the half and uh, so it's it's about like just four just almost four inches four inches so another four inches I'm going to be knitting okay to do that what I'm going to do is I am going to so I'm going to knit this and I turn my work right so I'm going to pick up these two just to show and what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit these two together so this is how it would look like so I am going to be knitting What I'm doing is I'm going to be going this down. Okay, so I'm, if I knit this this way, there will be a gap between. So to get rid of that gap, as I did here, I'm going to do the same. To do that, I am going to pull like this. And then I am going to knit these two together. I think I twisted it. So I'm creating two stitches. Two stitches. While I'm creating the two stitches, I am getting rid of, rid, getting rid of that gap. Let me do it one more time. Okay. Can you see the gap here? See, if I knit this, there will be a huge gap between. So to, to, to not to get rid of that gap, what I do is I just pull. I don't know. I find this is easy. This is one of the techniques that I figured it out. And this is how it looks like. So I'm going to continue knitting. All the way. I'll show you one more time. So I create two stitches like this. And I knit these two together. Just like this. So I'm going to continue. And then you can see there's no gap, nothing. And then it gives you that nice uh, short row effect. So I'm going to continue knitting all the way to the end and I will come back when I come back here I will show you how to do it on the other side just like that okay so I have turned my work and I'm knitting this way and um, I'm going to pick up the stitches on this side so it's I'm going to do the same thing as I did on this and this is how it looks like. Just 
slide it and I knit these just like this. I don't know this is how I figured I don't think there's this is out there so I just wanted to share how I do it because um, I, I kept on forgetting what I was supposed to do I think this is how you do, how we did it and then we turn our work when, when we were knitting so uh, this way it, it does the same job and then this way I will I will not forget what I was doing so if it's a knit stitch I do a knit stitch if it's a purl stitch I just purl these two together and I get rid of that sometimes I the you know, uh, the stitch can be twisted so I fix that just like this and then this is how it looks like and on the back it's a it's a knit stitch See, can you see I don't like it so I, I'll, I fix it and this is how I fix it yeah the sweater is pretty hard I weighed it and it's about one uh, three pounds <laughs> yeah I used up three pounds of yarn okay so Either you can use a crochet hook. With a crochet hook, it would be easier. And uh, that's how I do it. And when you turn to work, oh, it looks like is how it looks like but I missed the uh, one strand of it so let me just grab it again grab the two and then just pull it just like this and this way you get rid of that one that you uh that we did Oh my goodness here we go grabbed it so this is all to it I'm going to continue knitting then uh, you create these uh, short rows so I'm going to continue knitting and I will come back to show you how the process is going Okay, so I finished the row and this is how it looks like. I haven't removed the markers yet, but I'm going to knit a couple of rows. Well, not a couple of rows, so another four inches and then I will bind off. And this is how it looks like. Okay, and I will come back to show you how it will be looking like. A lot of knitting involved going back and forth. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, oh my goodness. It looks so tiny, doesn't it? I just wanted to show you how it looks like. But when you wear it, it's going to stretch. It will get bigger. So I'm going to show it to you this way. And this is how it looks like. Yeah. So what I did is, I just want to show you, this is how it looks like. I did the short row here, and when I looked, I did another short row here. It's really hard to see, but I did, a, I did five, 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 and up to here. And then I just knit. So I just wanted to give that length of knitting. So it would be total of eight inches here. And what I did is, when I was binding off, I bind off three here, three here, and I and then I knit. I went back and forth, and I bind off five. The three is here, and then the five, and then the five, 
and uh, just to give that nice because uh, I don't want it to be tight I, I, I want it to stretch because it's a collar right and then this is how I knit my the big Labroski do the collar area I'm going to give it a little bit of steam and after I sew the buttons uh, not the buttons I'm gonna sew the zipper <clears throat> so I just wanted to share you the new version of how I uh, do the short rows to create the collar and I hope you like this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting stay home stay safe take care